Hey, Buccaneers lose 41 to 31 in Monday Night Football. Uh, there's a lot to talk about regarding this game. A lot to talk about regarding this game. First things first, credit to the Baltimore Ravens. They're a very good football team. Uh, and they dominated pretty much after the first quarter. It was all Ravens, right? The Bucs did score 21 in the fourth quarter, but it is what it is. Um, I want to talk about this at the top of the video, um, or the top of this review, let's call it. Um, Chris Godwin did get hurt right at the end of the game. Um, actually, with Chris Godwin and Mike Evans both got hurt in this game. Uh, it was literally with one minute and four seconds left in this football game, Chris Godwin got hurt. Um, I think that that's pretty responsible by the coaching staff. Um, it is what it is. I'll, I'll probably talk about that topic later. But Chris Godwin got carted off the field, in my opinion. I don't know, but it looks like his season is likely done with a ankle type of injury. Um, we'll talk about that later once that fully confirms. But obviously, that's not a good situation. The Bucks lost 41 to 31. Uh, this was a game where a lot of things just didn't go the Bucks' way after the first quarter. It looked good in the first quarter. 10 points, held the Ravens to no points. It looked great, right? It looked great. After that, things began to unravel. Baker Mayfield was 31 of 45 tonight, 370 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. One was in the end zone, targeting a pass to Jalen McMillan. The other one was a pass where he threw it into triple coverage. It was a bit of a debate whether or not he was targeting, I think it was Trey Palmer or Sterling Shepard. Those were both bad interceptions. And the Ravens scored 10 points off of those two interceptions. So that does not help. Baker overall did not play a good game in that second or third quarter. He did put up a lot of stats and points in that fourth quarter. He did have a really good first quarter. In that second and third quarter, he he just he looked pretty bad. He looked pretty rough. Uh, two really bad interceptions. He does still lead the league in passing touchdowns right now, which is cool. But the two interceptions were were pretty costly. Again, you handed 10 points over to a really good Ravens team. Can't really make mistakes against a team like the Ravens, and the Bucs uh, did make those mistakes. That was This is kind of the first game this year with Baker where two mistakes like that um, were a bigger contributing factor to the Bucs losing here. Um, I thought that the running backs looked good tonight. Rashad White had 10 carries for 40 yards. He also had six catches for 71 yards and two touchdowns. So he had over 100 scrimmage yards and two, touch two touchdowns tonight. I would assume Rashad White is still going to be your number one running back going forward. Sean Tucker had five catches for 29 yards. He also had one catch for nine yards. So uh, he ended up having 38 total scrimmage yards tonight. Bucky Irving had nine catches for 23 yards and a touchdown, nine carries for 23 yards and a touchdown. He also had three catches for 54 yards. So he had 77 total scrimmage yards and a touchdown today with Godwin and Evans, with Godwin likely being out for the season and Evans being on the mend. Going forward, you're probably going to see a lot more of those three running backs get used, probably a lot more, right? In the receiving game, K. Dotton had 100 receiving yards tonight. Honestly, probably his best game ever as a Buck. I, I think this is the first game K. Dotton has ever had 100 yards receiving. He made a couple of crazy catches. There was one where it went through the hands of a defender and Cade caught it on his shoulder pad. That was a cool play. Really love to see that. You're probably going to see more Cade Otten moving forward. Chris Godwin led all the receivers tonight with seven catches for 65 yards. Again, his season's probably done. We'll probably talk about that in a separate video. Um, but Chris Godwin had a good game. And again, he went down with an injury with literally like a minute left. Um, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Mike Evans had one catch for 25 yards tonight and a touchdown. They need Mike Evans to get back healthy. They need him to get back healthy now. I imagine they're going to be very um, cautious now with his hamstring injury, especially after this Chris Godwin injury. But they need Mike Evans back in the worst way possible now. 
Uh, Trey Palmer, Sterling Shepard, and Jalen McMillan are all going to have to step up now. Palmer had 16 receiving yards tonight. Sterling Shepard had 15. Jalen McMillan had 15. All three of those guys are going to have to step up. I don't know which guy is going to get more playing time going forward. Seems like it might be McMillan. He had eight targets tonight. We're going to have to wait and see again. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Sean Tucker had nine yards receiving. Uh, Kadon did have the fumble. He recovered his own fumble. Defensively, it was really tough game. It was a really, really tough game defensively. Lamar Jackson ate the Bucks alive. It really, the entire Ravens offense did, right? Um, Lamar had 281 passing yards tonight, five passing touchdowns. He had 52 rushing yards in there as well. Uh, they had no answer for Lamar Jackson or really Derrick Henry for that matter. They did early on in the game, but Derrick Henry then ran off an 80, an 81 yard run, 50 something yard run. Um, it was a tough game defensively for the Bucs. And again, this is a Baltimore Ravens team that's going to be a Super Bowl contender that always is competitive in the AFC. It is what it is, right? They they lost to a really, really good offense today, but they just didn't have any answers. I thought the defense did a pretty decent job of getting after Lamar, but his elusiveness is just so frustrating that it's like he was literally outrunning the Bucs defenders left, right, and center. Just outrunning them, right? Um. Winfield had 10 tackles tonight, one sack, one tackle for loss, and a quarterback hit. Yaya Diaby had five total tackles, one sack, two tackles for loss, and a quarterback hit. Kalaja Kansi had a tackle for loss. Levante David had a tackle for loss and a pass deflection. Greg Gaines had a tackle for loss. But And again, I thought they did a good job of getting pressure on Lamar. He's just so, so elusive. There isn't much you can do. And Derrick Henry's built like a freaking quarterback. So there just isn't much you can do, right? So it is what it is. Um, it was a really tough game defensively. I thought that Zion McCollum, and I really thought that Jordan Whitehead had a bad, Jordan Whitehead, I thought, had a pretty tough game today. Um, I didn't, I thought that Zion McCollum did not have a great game. I think you missed Jamel Dean out there. Not to say that Tyreek Funderburk played like terrible, but again, Lamar was hyper accurate again, 17 of 22. He only had five incompletions. Um, he had a great day. He had a great day. Um, the Ravens offense just absolutely dominated throughout this contest. I mean, the Bucks didn't have an answer for the screen game. Justice Hill had 44 receiving yards and a touchdown. Uh, Mark Andrews ate over the middle of the field a little bit. He had 41 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Derrick Henry had a receiving touchdown in here. Rashad Bateman had two really long catches. He had 121 yards and a touchdown again. Uh, those were plays. McCollum was targeted twice on those plays. Again, bad game from McCollum, and I think Whitehead was also in on those plays as well. Um, the Ravens' offense was just too much. It was too much for the Bucs to compete with. It was too much for the Bucs to, to deal with. And um, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, it reminded me a lot, a lot of the Falcons game, but worse because also the Bucks got crushed in the run game. Um, I would say that the two interceptions for Baker Mayfield were bad. They were bad, right? Uh, you can't have those. You can't. Um, the defense uh, did not help tonight. They did not help tonight. And I, I'm not going to even necessarily say that this was like, I I don't know. Maybe people are going to disagree with this, but like it's Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry in the Baltimore Ravens offense. Like they're pretty good, you know? So it's not like surprising or like, I'm not even angry or disappointed at how the off or how the defense performed. Um, I will say, I think they will do better going forward. And now this rate, this Falcons game is very important next week. So, so important on Sunday. Uh, both teams are four and three. It's going to be for first place in the NFC South. Uh, and we're going to have a lot to talk about this week. You, you're probably going to be without, well, you're a hundred percent going to be without Godwin in that game. You might be without Mike Evans in that game. Um, and the last time you played the Falcons, Kirk, Kirk Cuzzo's 
threw for over 500 yards on you. And now you're coming off of a game defensively where you just allowed 508 total yards of offense. To be fair, the Bucks' offense had 481 yards, by the way. So kudos to them for that. Um, defensively, you're worried about the fact that they just gave up a lot of yards. Offensively, you're worried about the injuries now. So we'll see, man. We'll see. It's a tough loss. Um, it, it is not... It's not overly surprising. It's MVP candidate Lamar Jackson, MVP candidate Derrick Henry. Um, and the Bucks lost to a good football team today. Um, and they've got a lot to prove next week against the Falcons. So uh, we'll see. Tough loss. Tough, tough loss. We'll see if the Bucs can rebound.